hi everyone welcome to fix and action youtube channel so here we got another video for bypassing google account from samsung galaxy s8 plus we got this phone and it got a google account for this method you will need a sim card ejector and a sim card lock with a pin code the first thing we have to do is Let's start the setup wizard, agree to the all terms, click on agree, connect it with your favorite Wi-Fi. Once you connect it with your Wi-Fi, then it will ask us for the password or Google account or if there is any patron lock. Now click on next. Alright, so verify your account with your Google account. So you got a Google account. The first thing is to eject the SIM card tray. Insert the SIM card locked with a pin code. Once you insert that SIM card, it will ask you for the enter SIM card unlock pin. Type your unlock pin. For your sim card press the power button and then press the ok button there will be like one second or less than one second difference so let's do it press power ok that's how you do it again one two three four power ok so it will take you to this lock screen so here you press and hold on this notification it tells you set up wizard notification so press and hold slide to the down again press and hold slide to the down so you will see complete setting uh, top bar click here on notification settings so here you will see all the apps that you're getting notification from and here come slide down to the maps click on more apps it will open up the google maps skip that so go back come to the setting options in the maps click here and here you will see start driving or you can type the address manually also got it now here you will see the microphone, turn on the uh, GPS and click on this microphone here. Open Google. You can even say open Chrome, but we will say open Google Assistant. So now we got the Google Assistant here. Type here um, Chrome. That's the first thing we are doing. Accept and continue. No thanks type here Google account manager download 6.0.1 version it will be fine download it from androidapksbox.com so here we got the download link Click on that. Right, taking time. Okay. So it will start download the Google Account Manager. Once it is downloaded, then we will install it. Download it. Okay. Open it. And allow the permission. All right. Allow from this source. Go back. Install. After installation, we will download Quick Shortcut Maker. This is done. Now go back, or even you can click on the address bar right here. A quick Shortcut. 
Mac or any version will be fine. You can download it from the first link. Maybe it's different, but here it shows up to down.com. Download it from this one. Click on latest version. Download. Okay. Open. Install this also. so now we have to open this quick shortcut maker now we see here a lot of apps system apps now we have to find the google account manager come to the g alphabet and you see here okay google account manager click on that and you see here um type email and password so you have to write the email here try to open that click on these three dots in the top right corner browser sign in okay so now you have to sign in with your google account that you have the info for so we will sign in with ours so let's sign in with our email let's type the password Just restart the phone. That's it. You are good to go. Restart the phone. Wait for it. You guys can you guys can try this method or some other phone models as well, and it should work fine with some other models as well. If there is any problem or any issue, please leave us a comment. Um, and if it helped you guys, please like and subscribe for more videos. We really appreciate your support. So we still got the SIM card here inside. Uh, you can type the password for your SIM card or you can remove the SIM card, doesn't matter. Okay. Let's check in the system. So now let's start the setup user again. Every is already connected with Wi-Fi network. Next. Checking for updates, this may take a minute or two, pretty sooner. Alright, so it's telling us account added. So that Google account or new Google account has been added to the settings accounts. Press on next. The previous Google account is no more here. Don't store any data. Alright, no thanks. We don't want to set up any security right now. We're gonna accept more. Just a second, adding finishing touches. Skip that also, got it. So the phone is now ready to go. Thank you again guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.